Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another unboxing and a Rev review of a pair of Perlazumi Pro bib shorts. I've done this review before and it was the, I guess, the 2021 model year. This is the 2022 model year. So we're going to talk about three things. First is its seven panel design. We're going to talk about the new Levitate Pro Levitate chamois. And number three, we'll talk about the material used, the pro transfer material. So pro, pro, and pro everywhere, but um, that is their naming convention. So uh, first order of business is that I paid for these myself. This is not a sponsored product. So like all my reviews, you get um, my honest opinion on them. And not only is not only is there an opinion, but I thoroughly will test the product and ride it. Um, so if you follow my Strava link down below, you'll see, you know, I put in some decent mileage when I can. I run a business as well. So a brick and mortar business. So um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Little box. Um, here it is. And um, there's a running joke within my crew of riders that um, I'm trying to colorize my clothing options. Uh, the plain black bib short is um, ubiquitous throughout the Peloton. Uh, you know, as far as us, the recreational, avid, and enthusiast cyclists. The Pro Peloton's got all kinds of sponsors on their stuff, so it's not plain black. But for us, it's pretty much what we wear, plain black shorts. So as, as I take this out of the packaging, that's the reason they are the color that they are. So, um, so these have not been worn, and I will go through it um, inside and out as we go through um, so seven panel design, why would you want that? Um, there is, the more panels you have, the more the material when it's stitched up has an opportunity to conform to you. Now, there is a point of too many uh, seams. And if you have too many seams, you know, I call these points of irritation. Sometimes the seam can be in just the perfect place to create an irritation. So points of irritation is what I call uh, some of the seams or even where the chamois is stitched to the, um, to the material. So here is the color. So, you know, it's not too outlandish, but it definitely is not a plain black bib so seven panel design and you know it's got a, a few little reflective things on there like their logo and usually um, with some bibs you get a little reflective piping on the leg which this does not so let's talk about the chamois because that is the big deal that they're trying to make this is their new levitate chamois and what they're talking about is a very stretchy very breathable top sheet with more contouring to provide more pressure relief let's say right here in the perineum area. And this is a three density chamois that they're offering now. And so you have this top sheet and it's funny because they talk about how this seam or this edge is cut with a knife as opposed to being cut with a laser. <laughs> I don't know, we go back and forth with this. Some things are laser cut and they're better and some things are knife cut and they're better. but. The top sheet offers uh, breathability, 
wicks away moisture, those kinds of things. And it, because it's stretchy, it will conform to your body much better, they say. By the way, this is almost identical in the women's bib short. Just a tiny bit of contouring difference here. But other than that, it is the same um, chamois. Uh, same, same construction, same um, triple density. And all of it is the same basic design. It just, just the top sheet's going to be a little different. Also, what they've done is you have what is more prominent in higher end shorts where you have the top sheet is separate from the suspension core down below. So you'll have the ability to have this bottom portion That bottom portion is separate from the top sheet. So I've given this example before, but the analogy is imagine your foot is inside of a sock. Your sock is inside of your shoe. Since your foot and your sock are one unit, when your sock slides inside your shoe, there is no friction on, this, on your skin. Just the sock is sliding back and forth uh, inside your shoe. And that's the same situation here with this top sheet. It attaches to you and then that slides with the um, chamois, uh, the suspension core and, and the thicker density. Now, I have several versions of these Pearl Izumi bib shorts. I have the Pro Air. I have the standard Pro without air in their title. And this foam or this density is supposed to be stiffer, uh, denser than the previous version. Um, it, it is thicker. Mm, I can't, I'd have to grab the other shorts right away. Um, it, they claim it's denser, so I'll just believe that. But it is thicker, that is for sure. Um, over the years, I've gone to thinner and thinner chamois because once you find a saddle that really really works it's not even about how padded your chamois is how padded your shorts are so uh, drop a comment down below and and let me know are you wearing really thick chamois thin chamois i i'd like to know but i've slowly over the years progressed to a much thinner chamois and this is still thin enough that it still, I believe, will work really well. Um, their leg gripper is really nice, I believe. And their edge, their hem, falls very nicely on my thigh or your thigh. Now, one thing, I, I mean, there's probably only one knock to this short for me. It has a 10 and a half inch inseam. And I tend to think that that's a little long. It's just a personal choice. I like them a little, just a little shorter than that. Um, so I, I pull them up just a little bit or um, on these shorts you can't, but sometimes I'll fold up the, um, the edge. But um, other than that, I mean, this fabric is just it just feels really really good and um this is their second from the top uh short bib short the pro air which is a french material and this is an italian material this transfer pro pro transfer this feels better to me than the higher end short um, so as i've said in in the other videos you know Italian fabric to me feels better than the French fabric does in their pro air shorts. Um, so these bib straps, what they've done in the expedition, because, you know, gravel and gravel and gravel, everything's going gravel crazy. Um, they have what's called a drop tail 
which has been used in the women's bibs, but on the expedition version, which is for graveling, they say, you can now drop the tail. So um, I guess on the roadside, we don't get that feature, but if you're interested in that, then look towards their gravel series. And ladies, of course, that is available um, as well. Okay, so that's the unboxing portion of this video. I want to tell you that I've been writing these for a long time. Well, long time as in at least a year. And also, uh, my girlfriend rides the women's version of this. So this is, this is a very good short for male and female. Um, at, some, at some point, I will have a, a female co-host with me and she'll talk more about women's clothing. But I can tell you because I'd say at least 70% of my customers are women. I sell a lot of clothing, accessories, and repair a lot of bikes for women. So I have a, I have a good sense of what would work for a woman just based on uh, the sales, the feedback, and, you know, um, either warranty issues and things like that. Or, hey, you know what? Those bibs didn't work for me. I need another pair. I need something else. So um, that's that's all for today. Let me just check my notes just to see if there's anything that I missed. Um, I don't see anything. So seven panels, the new Pro Levitate chamois, and the Pro Transfer Italian fabric. I mean, this is a fantastic, fantastic uh, bib short. And the beauty about buying something from Pearl Izumi is you're getting a very high quality product for a much more affordable price and you know a lot of this stuff is made in China um, maybe this will say you know they'll always say it's designed in the US and Colorado but um, yeah if I were to look through um, you know it's it's the nicer parts or the better parts of China where some of this stuff is made uh, yep yeah, made in China but that's not all that bad and that'll keep you or keep the cost down. Um, yeah, interestingly enough, it even shows the manufacturer date on here, September 2021 for the spring 2022 line. So um, it's a very, very good, high quality bib short for 225. I mean, you're just getting into the lower end, not the high, high end yet, of the Osso's line. So I don't compare these to Osso's, but price point, it's a better value than Osso's. Um, and Osso's is, in my opinion, one of the highest end brands for cycling clothing. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your time and attention. Please like and subscribe. I'm gonna take these out for about 110 miles tomorrow and I will report back. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.